Uh, what a year. I mean, who would have ever guessed we were going to have a global pandemic and I'd be teaching theater on Zoom. But we really did have a great group of kids. But wait a minute. School's almost here and some of our sophomores don't know where the dressing rooms are or what the tool bunker is or how we run rehearsals. I don't know what we're going to do. I thought this year was going to be easier, but maybe it will be. We really do have great people in our program. I guess I can't solve all the problems in one day. A little bit of summer left. Let's watch Netflix. Hey there, it's Tabitha. Thanks for tuning in to the Travel Channel. Here in Maui this week, I'll be giving you a tour of my top three destinations. Starting off with number three, I'm here standing on some lava at the highest point in Maui, and I'd lava to tell you all about Nardone's website, where you can get all the info you need. Come on, I'll show you around. In order to reach this awesome first destination, first, you gotta go to your preferred search engine. Go to the, to the Mountain Ridge website first. This pops up, and I can click Website. Now I'll click on the menu in the upper left-hand corner. Staff websites, that's where I gotta go. And here is N, Nardone's website, the only N. On this first homepage, you can find a schedule of all the classes, the reminds, club, and different program. These are really important for getting all the information you need to know. Trapdoor Society, Drama Club. You can go here anytime to take in some cool information. Under the Productions tab, all the information about main stage shows takes place. You name it, we've got it. Coming in at number two, there's Goggle, I mean Google Sheets, where you can find the rehearsal schedule for each week. Let's go! Now, for our second top destination, we're back here on Nardone's handy dandy website. If you scroll a little, you'll see the link to the weekly rehearsal schedule from Beauty and the Beast. This is similar to how other shows have their rehearsal schedules set up. Here you can see the different days of the week are labeled. Here you'll be able to find the different times and dates that you might need to come. Always keep an eye out. Finally, our number one destination. The MRHS Instagrams. The first one is called MRHS Trap Door. This is the MRHS Trap Door Society Instagram, which is our drama club in the program. Here you'll find Instagram posts that give information about upcoming meetings and their themes. The other Instagram we have is the Theater MRHS Instagram. This is an Instagram page focuses more on our main stage shows and gets everyone pumped for them coming up. Thanks for tuning in. Those are my top three destinations. Hi, I'm Kim Kardashian and I will be showing you some of my favorite survival tips. First tip for theater survival is doing your part to clean up after long rehearsals or shows. There is usually a huge mess and the faster that everyone pitches in and cleans up, the faster everyone can go home to get their beauty rest. Kim, you didn't clean anything. Kim. I usually just have my maid or my sister Kendall clean for me, but it's important for everyone to do their part. My next tip is very similar to my last one, and it is to keep your spaces clean. During the shows, we use the makeup room, the dressing rooms, the classroom, the wings, the stage, and much more to get ready. Keep your space clean like mine, like my sister Kendall. The last tip is definitely the most important. Gossiping is a real thing, and I have been a victim of it. Can you believe Kendall's audition? Like, she is not going to get the lead. <laughs> Past gossiping is something that can hurt everyone, so just be kind instead. Thank you for watching.
Now, ma'am, why do you believe you are above the rules when it comes to rehearsals? Well, Phil, as the director, I am the one making the rules. And why do you believe that you are the director? Because I am clearly dressed in the director chic. Okay, well since you are the director, can you answer some questions for me regarding rehearsals? Yes, I can. Alrighty. Question one, where do you, I mean the students go to sign in for rehearsals? There's a rehearsal sign-in sheet? It's located outside of the stage door. This is where you sign your name in order to let others know that you are indeed present. Well, not everyone knows that. Let's try a different question. When you enter the dressing rooms, what must you do before you can enter? I don't know. I'm not a costume designer. I'm the director. The answer is to knock and wait for approval to enter. You're giving me impossible questions! How does anyone know this? Hey, no. These questions are common knowledge. Everyone should know this. I disagree. Final question. Where must you enter when coming in for rehearsals? I don't know, okay? I'm not the director. Look at that. Confronting the truth is good. What's the answer anyways? The answer is through these handy dandy stage doors. Now, I'm proud of you. Acceptance is the first step forward. Thanks, Dr. Phil. You're so quirky and cool and nice. I don't know how you do it. I know. I don't know either, I guess. I was just born this way. That's all tonight. Tune in next time where we meet a man who believes Weird Al is his father. Ozzy! Hello. Welcome to the Ozzy channel. Yeah, mate. See you in the air back. Now, if you're going outside in the F building out back to get a drink or eat something, you want to remember this crucial step. Grab a rock, a little rocky will do. Now we'll place the rocky in the door, wedge it there, because if you don't, the door will close and you'd be stuck. But in this case, we're all good. In the F building air back, people get real thirsty. Very, very thirsty. Now, there's a couple of things you want to keep in mind next time you get thirsty. Uh, let's say you bring a drink from a good old Starbucks or something like that. Uh, what you're going to want to do in the F building air back, Go outside, find some find some sort of bush or something, all right? And then in the airbag, right here is some fresh dingo blood from an ankle bite and dingo bogus son of a gun, right? So you're gonna take this ankle bite and dingo blood and you're gonna dump it right in the bush. Because we don't want anything to do with that ankle bite and dingo blood in the building. Now, in the F building airbag, there are a really crucial thing that everybody needs to do. Now, say you drink a lot of water and you know the day's going great, but you got to get your business done, right? Wrong. You're not allowed to pee outside, unfortunately, at the F Building Outback. The very special place that you're allowed to pee, I mean, the F Building Outback, you are allowed to pee right over here. Now, you're wondering, how do I get all the way over there? Well, starting from the doors outside, twinkle your way all around here, might pass a dingo or two along the way. Well, keep going down the hallway, and right there is the bathroom. See you in the epic, my dingo pack. Mwah. Welcome to Rich Theater, have a look around. Anything that brain of yours can think of can be found. We've got mountains of show pieces, some better, some worse. If none of it's of interest to you, you'd be the first. Welcome to Rich Theater, come and take a seat. Would you like to see the pit? Make sure your shoes cover your feet. There's no need to panic, this isn't a test. Just nod or shake your head and we'll do the rest. Welcome to Rich Theater, what would you prefer? 
Remember, if you fight in these dark lights, you will get very hurt. Be sweaty, be jumpy, be mindful of space. We got a million different ways to engage. Welcome to Rich Theater. Put your work aside, because if you enter the pit unsupervised, you might die. We've got nails and screws and rock hard doors and a bunch of different benches from like 20 years of doing shows that all look the exact same. Welcome to Rich Theater. Hold on to your socks, cause falling down those stairs will hit you harder than an ox. The stairs are quite slippy, plus set pieces galore. Don't act surprised, it's an Ikea store. See, it goes like Quincy, get injured, have a mission. Get demon summer benches, only down there with permission. Find a roller, get a boomer, find an atom, a perfumer, or help make a tumor. Avoid zoom, get up there sooner, and say, here's a little cool trick. Get up on flashlight, hold it inside your mouth, or else you may die. Which kind of student are you in the coming years? You might just see that we are hindered by rule breaking kids. Could I interest you in everything all of the time? A little bit of everything all of the time. Purchasing's a tragedy and spending is a crime. Anything and everything all of the time. Could I interest you in everything all of the time? A little bit of everything all of the time. Purchasing a tragedy and spending is a crime. Anything and everything all of the time. You know, it wasn't always like this. Not very long ago, just before your time. Right before Secret Garden in 2009. It was dance for hats, a couple flats, a sofa or two. The pressing fright and nice delight, really, was food, food, satiating food. If you eat well inside costumes, I will come for you. If you eat in the dressing room, and a sea will bite you. So what do you do? What do you do? With food, go outside and have some lunch times now. Your insides out, honey. Eat your food, and if you. All of the time, could I interest you in everything? All of the time, a little bit of everything. All of the time, purchasing's a tragedy and spending is a crime. Anything and everything and anything and everything and anything and everything and all of the time. Hello, and welcome back to Ghosts, Ghouls, and Great Locations. I'm your host, Anna C. Wood. Today, we will be visiting two different locations where ghosts have been seen. First being the stage manager console, second being the booth. Two places where in our own area we have seen local ghost, Quincy. The first location, the stage manager's console, is on the right, sa- right side of stage, stage right. It is where you most likely can find the stage manager along with various things such as gaff tape, spike tape, pens, pencils, a headset, and usually it is not to be rifled around in because stage managers usually have a method of their madness and an idea on how they want it organized. 
The second place being the booth is a the area at the back of the theater um, where our lights and sound consoles are kept. We keep both the soundboard, the light board, and just a lot of different things that go with those. Most of the time, you will not be up there unless you are being shown by one of the sound or lights heads something, or if Nardone asks you to. Quincy's been seen there multiple times, you can ask sound or lights heads. Um, it's a very important area of our department. You can find gels, you can find microphones, um, the power towers up there, along with many other super important things that you'll be sure not want to go up to. It's also just very spooky. At, like I said earlier, these are places our own ghost, Quincy, has been seen at multiple times. Ooh. You'll want to stay safe and stay away from those unless you want to see a ghost. That's it today for on ghouls, ghosts, and great locations. I feel so much better now. I guess a little relaxation was all I needed. Back to work. <laughs>